them. And there's only a certain number of ways, you know, that we you can animate a digital character. So, you know, in the movie industry, in the games industry, I mean, these are uh, industries that have developed using uh, using human actors to create content. So, human actors perform a, a role or a scene that's captured using motion capture or volumetric video, and then that data is mapped to the CGI character, um, the avatar, the virtual human, and that is played back as a linear story. Um, right. So, I mean, we're all used to seeing that type of animation. It's really, really high quality animation. It's pretty expensive to create. I mean, there's a reason why CGI movies you know, are big budget movies. There's a reason why AAA games are big budget games. The next, you know, this, the second way animation can be done is, you know, scripted animation. So scripted animation is different to scripted content because, you know, content is, you know, what is scripted in a conversational corpus or an NLP engine, for example. Scripted animation is where you're actually having to tell the virtual human what to do and when to do it. Um, so, you know, it's, once again, really, really time intensive and very hard to maintain. Autonomous animation, which is a field we you know, we lead the world in and we've been pioneers in, is exactly what you and I are doing here. Um, you know, your brain is animating you and asking me questions, Brett, and my brain is animating me and responding to those questions. So the way we, we are bringing our digital people to life, they have a, a working model of a digital brain, um, which enables them to, to see, hear, respond, react, in real time in a highly personalized way.